Hi, I'm Preeti. Welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting build project that I just completed. I'm sharing step-by-step -step details on how I converted this dark, non-functional bay window area into a bright and inviting seating nook. It has become my favorite spot in the whole house. In the end, I will also share the total cost of this project, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. So this is how the space looks now. It's right next to our kitchen overlooking our backyard, but it is not really usable. So I thought of converting it into a nice sitting or relaxing space. As you can see, there's a grey accent paint that I'm particularly not very fond of. Vertical blinds that looks bulky for the space and has this awful textured ceiling. I want this nook to be light, warm and airy but still cozy enough to sit and relax. Now let's get started, shall we? First, I'm going to try and remove this flowery textured ceiling. Here is a trick that I found. All you need is a spray bottle with water and a white scraper. But putty knife is all I had in hand. Since this is a small area, this should be sufficient for the space. Now spray water on the ceiling and let it soak for 20 minutes. Then come back and scrape it off by applying even pressure. Since this is a small space, I did not cover up the surrounding area. But if you're doing this for a larger room, be sure to cover everything around because this produces tons of dust. Also, wear a mask and eye protection. Next, I remove this balance covering the top rail of the blinds. I will replace the blinds at the end but as of now, I left it there until I finish building the seat. Floating Seat Build Now for the seat, I wanted to build without the legs or any kind of storage underneath to achieve a floating look. To do this, the support structure should be really strong. You can use a custom heavy duty metal brackets but they are not cheap. I decided to build the frame out of 2x4s, then we will add half inch thick plywood on top and front to conceal the frames. I measured the space and this is how I plan to have the frame. Then measure, cut the 2x4s and secure the frame to the wall studs. To get the correct bay window wall angle, place one 2x4 over the other like so and mark the angle. Cut with miter saw. Again, take it to the place and mark the next angle. This way, the cuts are precise. Then install with 4 inch long construction screws. For the sides, measure the remaining wall space but subtract the thickness of the outer frame and the thickness of the fascia. On the right, I have a power outlet on the wall right where the frame goes. So I mark and cut that part out before fixing it on the wall. Then again, measure and cut the outer frame and connect it to the side members.
Now we have to add cross members to this frame. Again measure and cut. The side facing the walls are connected to the frame using pocket hole screws and the side facing front are connected using regular 3 inch long construction screws. To make my job easier, I added nails first to temporarily secure while I connected them with long screws. Finally, to cover the frame, I used a half inch plywood cut with circular saw and secured with brad nails. To cover the front, I used a pre-finished plank attached with brad nails. Looks great, isn't it? We tested it out and enjoyed admiring the build for a while. Sand, prime and paint. Before starting the next step, I took down the old blinds. Next, we have to fill all the screw holes, mud the ceiling, sand and clean up everything to prepare for the finishing. First, I added two coats of primer wherever there is wood trim and dark paint. This is the most important step if you want a good finish. For this, I am using Zinsa Primer. I always use this in my projects and the best part is that you don't need to sand. If I'm finishing a furniture, I would definitely sand first before applying this primer. But it's hard to sand wood trims and baseboards. So that is where this primer comes handy. I did two coats of primer before applying the actual paint. On the walls, I'm using Whisper White in satin finish and Ultra White in semi-gloss for the baseboard. I painted the under seat area with bare paint called Carbon in matte finish. Okay. Time to install the new blinds. After browsing through several options, I settled with these IKEA roller blinds. What I liked about these particular ones is that they can be cut to required width, exactly what I needed for these odd size bay windows. I am mounting them inset to the window and IKEA has separate instructions for that. You have to measure the inside width of the window and mark it on the fabric. Then mark 35mm less than your measurement and cut it out. Next mark 5mm on the rod from the end of the blind and cut it with a miter saw. You can also use a miter box for this if you don't have a miter saw. Then put the rod end clip back in and install the given brackets before mounting the roller blind. Finally, let's add a cushion. I have no idea how to sew, so I'm going to show you the simple way to do it. I bought a 4 inch thick firm foam and cut it into the required size and shape. 
I used an electric knife to cut the foam. You can also use a utility knife for this. Next, lay the fabric upside down on the floor and place foam over it. I bought 3 yards of fabric. Then wrap the fabric covering the foam edge just like gift wrapping. Wherever the fabric overlaps, secure them together with a sticky or iron-on velcro. That's it. As a final touch, add some pillows. If you want to buy this or any item I have used in this project, link is in the description below. Here's the final look. We absolutely love to just sit, relax, have snacks, chat and gaze outside watching the birds and squirrels on the yard. Also, it has access to a power outlet, so I even work here sometimes. Ready to know the build cost? Here is a quick summary of the things I did here. Built a floating seat with 4 inch thick foam cushion, scraped off textured ceiling, murdered two layers and refinished it, replaced the blinds and finished all surfaces with two coats of primer and two coats of paint. Foam and fabric are the major spend in this build but that's what makes this space more inviting and comfy I would say. All the items I used in this project are linked in the description below and also written article is available in my website at thenomadstudio.com. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel as I have more such projects coming up. Until then, tata baby see you.